Welcome. So for today we will look at the coffee grinder and the reverse coffee grinder. Both of them are leg sweeping motions that can be performed on the ground, usually used in floor work, dance um, or even acrobatics. So a regression I like to use to understand the, the basic leg sweeping motion across the floor is to start on all fours. This one I call the sweep, both outside and inside sweep. We can start with the outside sweep where we basically extend our leg outwards and then start swiping or sweeping across the floor inwards. As I'm coming through here, I'm lifting my hands, making room and then tucking it in between under my knee, basically. And from here, we can do the same thing. I can lift my knee upwards to then extend from the inside, lifting my hands up and over, coming out and inwards again. And from the side, it basically looks something like this. And with time, you can start to do it with a bit more speed added to it. Getting a bit more fluent. So the coffee grinder in itself would be to lift up the leg from the ground and then continue in a full circular manner. So I would have to come up on, my, on the ball of my feet here and extending my leg to the side, doing the same thing, crossing over. And as I get to the left foot here, I would have to jump, but simultaneously I can start to stack my weight forwards and push towards the ground to lift upwards and then find myself in this starting position. From here we can start to add a little bit of speed, understand the momentum and then use it. Like this. So from this we can start to reverse the motion as well. I start with an extended leg from this position and then I simply go backwards and then cross over, jump, lift my hands and come back. And with a bit more momentum, it would look something like this. So there we have the coffee grinder and the reverse coffee grinder. Some basic leg sweeps that we can do in circular manner. So there's definitely a lot of variations and transitions that you can do with this one into other movements. And uh, one that I like to use to add a little bit of complexity to the coffee grinder, or the reverse coffee grinder in this case, is by starting in this lunge position, then trying to center or stack ourselves more towards our right side, taking up the weight so that we can allow ourselves to go beneath with our right leg and cross through the left leg. And it would look something like this. So I come through and from this position, I have multiple options to do something else. So once again, from the back, I will weight shift over towards my right or stack myself more towards the right shoulder to allow myself a bit more time and space to pass through with my right leg beneath the left one. So from here and down. And as you might've noticed, I like to land on the uh, top of my foot rather than the ball of my foot. And this is to allow myself to more smoothly and softly receive the floor. But also from there I can then enter the floor or pass in the other direction I like to go to. So for example, I start from this position here. I can then maybe receive the floor like this. Or move backwards or add something else. One thing that you might be struggling with as you're passing through with your foot and then landing is this kind of impact you get on the knee. And it's not very smooth and you might be hurting yourself. So to avoid this is to, from the lunge, really emphasize leaning onto and supporting yourself from this arm and pressing down into the ground. But simultaneously, I try to swing upwards so I will get some momentum lifting me up and this will maybe allow me 
to more smoothly sit down with my pelvis on the ground and on my foot. And basically from here then, we can then start to move into new positions. So two other variations that builds from the sweeps or from the coffee grinders is um, some pretzels. And these look like this. You would start in the uh, quadruple position with your knees on the ground. In the inside swipe, you simply open up, swipe, open up with your hands. But then I'll continue on this motion whilst leaning upwards on the ball of my feet. Swiping through the air to then find myself in this position again. With more momentum, a bit more fluidity, it will look something like this. A very circular motion. Um, you have to get quite proficient uh, with the balance on your feet. But once you understand how to kind of cut through the air with the arm, and with the leg swiping over the floor surface, it will start to get a bit more intuitive. So coming through from here, you generate momentum. I like to kind of push into the ground here to really swipe up and then make a last push off with the left one. So from here, swipe up and find myself in this position again. A good way to work up to this is to simply start to walk around to so make a little or small push at first, swipe, catch yourself, swipe and catch yourself, and get a bit pro more proficient with balancing on this foot. Um, and you can start to kind of work up to a quarter, uh, 180 to full 360 in the end. Another one that's a bit more complex in nature is the outside pretzel, looking something like this coming up on the ball of my feet and back again. So I'm simply turning out with my leg first, crossing over through myself to then pass through and back. I start with a simple outside sweep, lifting my hands. From here, I tuck it in beneath the knee, but I don't come down here. Rather, I push through and extend my leg using my left arm to support myself to lift up here. I can start by simply receiving myself in this position, turning and coming here again. Once I've understood this and get a bit more proficient, I start to throw in some momentum. So from the quadruple, coming through, go in, swing this time. And you see I receive myself and come through once again. And from the side, and once from the back. So there you have some leg sweeping motions, some more basic, some more complex. You can use them either to transition into other movements of your own liking or practice them separately. I hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for more. Thank you.